Hey, what's up everybody, Osama here. And in this video, we're gonna talk about a really exciting feature, which is the calendar troubleshooting. So if you were creating calendars in Go High Level previously, and you had to test them, you'll often have to preview them and then do some testing, make some test appointments, and see if the availability is there or not. So the calendar troubleshooting tool is really gonna make that easy. All you have to do is head over to your calendar settings and go high level. And against any calendar that you wanna troubleshoot, you can click on the three dots here, and then you'll find the troubleshoot calendar option. All you have to do is click on that, and it will open that calendar in the troubleshooting view, as you can see here. So you can see all the slots here, and wherever the slot is unavailable, it will actually tell you, and that is exactly what this is for. So if a date is unavailable, you'll actually hover over the time, and it will actually tell you the exact reason. So in this case, it says the slot cannot be shown due to the minimum scheduling notice requirement. So you might have a user availability set up and it might be straightforward, but other times when you might have custom dates in place, or if you're using collective booking calendars or round robbing calendars, you might be wondering why a certain slot is not showing up, right? So in order to test that previously, you had to do a lot of back and forth, but here, this is going to save you a lot of time because you can click on any date here and find any slot and it will tell you why it is not available. So if we click on one of the available dates, it will show you all those slots. So this is the general availability of the calendar, which is 8 a.m. through to 5 p.m. And between that, any slots that are unavailable, you can actually hover over that and it will tell you why it is not available. So in this case, it says no user is available because the slot is either blocked by another event or falls outside their set availability. So this basically tells us that the user is not available. So you can see this is really helpful to know when you're troubleshooting the tool, or if you want to test the logic of the calendars before going live, this can actually give you very valuable information and then you can make tweaks on the go. And in my opinion, one of the best ways this calendar troubleshooting can help is with collective booking calendars and round robin, because you know there's multiple people involved or users involved in that. So I have an example of a collective booking calendar here. So there are very limited slots available. So if you click on any of these, of course, this is very straightforward. Thursday is not available in this calendar, but if you click on one of the available dates, you will see that some of these slots are unavailable. So if I hover over that, it will tell me like two out of three users are unavailable for this collective appointment. And as you know, in order to make collective booking, all users in this specific calendar need to be available. So that's why it is not showing these slots. And if we scroll down, we have some available slots here, and then we also have some unavailability. So if I hover over here, now it is telling me one of the three users are unavailable. So this is very helpful to know because before going live, I can make tweaks. If it is not working as I want it to be, then I can make changes on the go. And one more cool thing about this feature is that if you're making changes in the calendar and you want to reflect that, you can click on this refresh and it will do that instantly. And now you can see the settings in effect. So that was all about this feature. Again, this may seem like a small feature update, but it is going to really help you if you want to test the calendars and make sure that your logic and availability is on spot and you can easily test this using the calendar troubleshooting tool.